If you create a discussion topic within my courses where you need to have some high resolution images shown to the students, you want to follow this tutorial. Because when a student will click on a text link, they can view a larger image. Now this larger image is going to be in something called an overlay, which means it won't be blocked by a pop-up blocker. And this also means that you can have this very large high resolution image and it won't take up a lot of space or take a long time to download for the students to view. So you don't want to miss any steps in this tutorial to be able to do this. Secondly, you should note that this tutorial assumes you feel comfortable working within the HTML source code of the HTML editor. If you do not, please contact my courses for faculty at spcollege.edu for help. Now there's a couple things you need to have ready. One, your images should already be uploaded to your managed file area and it's best practice to put them into folders for organization. And there's a little, there's two pieces of HTML code that you're going to need and we'll get to those in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and create my discussion topic and within the description text area I'm going to click on the HTML source icon. I'm going to now highlight the code that begins with iframe and ends with iframe and I am going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to go into the HTML source editor and paste that code and it doesn't matter where it's pasted. I'm going to go ahead and click save. I'm now going to type in the text I want and I'm going to highlight that text. I'm going to click on the insert quick link icon and I'm going to go to course files and again it's assumed you've already uploaded your files. I'm going to go to quiz pictures, overlay images and I'm going to choose the image that I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the target equal overlay. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to go back into the HTML source editor and I'm going to find where it says target equals underscore self. And I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste the code in there. I'm going to click the save and now I'm going to click save and close. And of course I can edit you know and continue on working in my uh, my my discussion topic but now when a student clicks on that notice that the image will come up in an overlay and it can be very high resolution and the student doesn't take up any space it doesn't take any time for this image to download because the student just has to click on that and then view it. 